Hi everyone, welcome to US Immigration Hub channel. If you are new to this channel, uh, my name is Liman. I name make videos for a family based immigration uh, to simplify the immigration process. If you watch my videos very carefully, you will make your immigration process less stressful. My channel has all the videos you need to complete your immigration process for immigrant and non-immigrant visas. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. I give us a big like so YouTube can share the video with more people like you. By doing this, we will help other people. First of all, I am not an attorney. I'm here to help you based on my personal immigration journey and also based on the information I have from USAS, NVC, and consulates or embassies websites around the world. And also based on the feedback I have from my subscribers. So if you're ready, let's get started. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to file Form I-864, uh, which is affidavit of support under Section 213A for the NA. Uh, this time is going to be for joint sponsor. I already have a video, but it's an old video because USAS update this form. Uh, the new update it uh, will expire on the first. Uh, I'm sorry, January 31st, 2026. Do not file the old version that expired on. Uh, I think it was in 12 31st, 2023. If you file the old version, it will be rejected. If you follow my channel, it is my responsibility to update you once USAS update the form. So I do my best to keep my uh, subscribers and also my viewers uh, uh, updated. So if you're ready, uh, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to repeat this again. In any form, always check the expiration date. As you can see, this one right here will expire on January 31st, 2026. And if, it, if it's expired, just go to US, USAS uh, website and look for that form and check the edition or the version. So uh, the first uh, top two part right here, uh, the first one is for USCIS use only, and the second one is for the attorney if uh, you use one. So for us, we're gonna complete this form by ourselves. So we're gonna start where it says start here. So type or print in a black ink. So we can do both. You can type and then at the end, if you wanna add something, you can add it with a black ink, but do not um, you know, scratch it and you must add it, not uh, correct it. You must add, if you want to add something, you can add it with black ink, but do not correct it. So uh, now let's start from part one, basis for filing affidavit of support. So I, uh, it's gonna be right here, the person filing this form, uh, Sliman Baker. This is the joint sponsor, that's uh, today's video. You have a lot of options right here. 1A, I am the petitioner, I fail or I am filing for the immigrant uh, for the immigration of my relative. So I'm gonna go straight to 1D, I am the only joint sponsor. But still the petitioner must file I-64 I as well. And the joint sponsor must file I-64 uh, too. So you're gonna read this, it is very important. Note, if you are filing this form as sponsor, you must include proof of US citizenship a U.S. national status or a lawful permanent residence. So you will need your U.S. citizenship or a green card uh, or green card uh, or your green card. I'm sorry. Now let's go to part two. Informa information about the principal immigrant. This, uh, this is the immigrant we are uh, sponsoring. So family name is going to be Bushi. First name it's Bushra. Middle name is in A or you can leave it blank. So mailing address, this is the mailing address of the principal applicant. It mainly is gonna be abroad. If you're not doing adjustment of status, this is uh, uh, the, the person or whatever the principal applicant, it's still abroad. So in care of name, uh, Boshra, do not leave it blank. A lot of people leave this one blank. Street number and name is 20 Hail Masira. City or town is Kinefra. Uh, Provence is Kinefra. Postal code is 54,000. 
and the country is Morocco. The format of the other Israel will differ from country to country. So let's go now to other information. Country of citizenship or nationality of the applicant, it's Morocco. Date of birth, it's uh, for January 1st, 1990. Alien registration number, she does not have uh, one at this point because she's still abroad. USAS or land account, she does not have one at this point because she's still abroad. And date, and daytime telephone number, you will add one right here if she has one. But you need one anyway because sometimes, you know, the uh, U.S. Embassy or Consulate abroad, they, they communicate with the phone. In my case, uh, they call my spouse once they, the visa was issued. If you don't adjust them to the status, you will have this A number right here for your spouse or for your fiancé. But you will have it right here. Check your, uh, uh, your uh, I-797 approval notice. So we're still talking about what part that was part two. Now let's go to part three information about the immigrants you are sponsoring i am sponsoring the principal immigrant named in part two yes if you select no applicable only if you are sponsoring family members in uh, part three as the second joint sponsor or if you are sponsoring family members who are immigrating more than six months after the principal immigrant so in my case this one is yes that's for joint sponsor and also i'm sponsoring the following uh, family members immigrating at the same time or within six months. Uh, the principal immigrant named in part two. If this uh, principal applicant right here has children, you must add them right here. So we're gonna add family member right here. This is a child of the principal, uh, the principal uh, immigrant. So family name, that's AA. And uh, the first name is Ali. Middle name is applicable, not applicable. Relationship to the principal applicant or immigrant is a child and date of birth is 1st uh, January 2020 Here just I want to mention right here because it's very confusing for a lot of people you must uh, use uh, the format month day and year do not use uh, International format which is day month and year a lot of people make a mistake right here Alien registration number uh, this child does not have one and USAS online account she does not she or he does not have one, but this in case is a, is a boy, so he does not have one. If you have multiple uh, child, this is where you can add them. So we go to the top. We're still talking about family member three, family member four, family member five. So part three, information about the immigrant you are sponsoring, continue with. Enter the number of immigrants you are sponsoring on this affidavit which includes the principal immigrant listed in part two and any immigrant listed in part three item number one to 28 and if applicable any immigrants listed for this question part 11 additional information do not count the principal immigrants if you are only sponsoring family members until more than six than uh, six months after the principal immigrant is two the principal uh, immigrant plus the child so now we're gonna go uh, we're gonna switch now part four is information about you sponsor part four we're gonna switch to the sponsor uh, sponsors for name is uh, it's Baker uh, that is family name uh, given name is Sliman and uh, middle name that I don't have one it's just in a uh, sponsors meaning address in care of name it must be full name at uh, Baker Sliman street number and name is 100 rubber run it's gonna be a United States address uh, city or town in Indianapolis and state Indiana if you selected the state right here the country you are USA will populate under the country automatically and the zip code is 46254 uh, is your mailing address is the same as your physical address in my case is the same if you selected no you must enter it right here but if you select yes this one will be grayed out we're not gonna let you do anything if you try to do anything they're gonna let you do anything right here because you check that the middle address is the same as physical address now let's go to other information country of domicile as of now in usa a date of birth 01-01-1980 city or town of birth is kinefra uh, state of province of birth kinefra country of birth is morocco this is a u.s naturalized uh, citizen you must put your uh, information from your foreign country even if you are a u.s citizen by uh, uh, choice which is naturalization naturalization i'm sorry 
by if you are a US citizen by birth, you're gonna enter the information according to your birth certificate. It's gonna be United States. Uh, US social security number is required because the, uh, how you know they, they want to know how you're gonna support these uh, principal immigrants. Uh, citizenship or residence, I'm a US citizen or I'm green card holder. So A number, a lot of people get confused right here because if you can see it's a sponsored A number and 11B and 11C, they ask for green card only. If you are a US citizen, by choice, you have it as well. If you are a US citizen by birth, you don't have it. Let me show it to you right here. This is your naturalization certificate. This is your A number right here. If you come as immigrant to United States, you did not born in the United States, you, this A number will stay with you. They will issue a green card once you enter the United States, and then the number will stay with you once they issue uh, your uh, naturalization certificate, which is a uh, citizenship. Uh, if you are a green card holder, this is your green, this is your uh, uh, green card A number right here. And also, if you do remember, if you are a U.S. citizen and you do not remember your A number, you can get it right from here. From your I-797 approved notice is right here. The petitioner A number it's right here. So let's go back to our form. So the sponsor USAS online account number, if any. If you fill the petition before online, you will have this one. If you did not, just leave it blank. I'm going to share with you as well right here. Uh, this is, I'm going to give you an example right here. If you fill the petition before online, USAS will send you a USAS uh, access notice with access code and you create your uh, USAS online account. And this is your USAS online account. They already uh, create one for you, just you have to log in. This is your USAS online account right here. You go back to, we go back to our form and you enter it right here. Now we're going to go to question number 14. I am currently on active duty in United States Armed Forces or U.S. Coast Guard. Yes or no? In my case, is no. So next is part five. Sponsors household size. The, this is the most tricky part on this form. I'm going to do my best to clear this confusion. Note, do not count any member of your household more than once. Persons you are sponsoring in this affidavit, one, provide the number you entered in part three, num item number 29 is two, this is the principal applicant plus the child, Pre uh, persons not sponsored in this affidavit support, this is now the, sp uh, the joint sponsor uh, information, yourself, that's for uh, joint sponsor, and if you are married, you cannot be married, enter one for your spouse, it's right here. If you have children, enter the number here, he has only one. So this uh, joint sponsor, he is married and he has only one child. He does not have any other independent. And if you have sponsored any other persons from I-64 or from I-64 Easy who are now lawful permanent resident, enter the number right here. He never, uh, he never sponsored anybody, so it's zero right here. But if you do, you're going to put the number right here. This is optional. If you have sibling, parents, or adult children with the same principal residence who are combining their income with yours by submitting from IA64A, enter the number here. But here, they said if you are siblings, parents, or adult children, here, we're not zero. Add together part five item number one to seven and enter the number it's going to be added automatically right here it's five so this joint sponsor is sponsoring five people two immigrants which is the principal immigrant child and his family including himself so now let's go to part six sponsors employment and income i am currently employed as engineer uh, name of employer one is ATA. If you have a second employer, you can add it right here. And if you are self-employed, you can add it in, in uh, number four. So retired, the, sport, the joint sponsor is still working. He's, he's not unemployed. And the, my current individual annual income is 60000 a year. This is confusing. Do not include your wife uh, income right here. This is sponsor 
joint sponsor income only and i want to clear this out right here because a lot of people have issue right here if you file tax jointly with your spouse you must include right here include her here and then she must file ia64a so if you file uh, taxes jointly but if you did not file tax jointly uh, you go to go right here by yourself you're good to go you're gonna check first i'm gonna give the case where you don't have a, you have a spouse but she's not included in your tax return basically you file your tax separately so you're gonna get up to your income so for five people you need forty three thousand nine hundred twenty five two immigrants and a three of uh, joint sponsor family including himself let's go back to our form now this joint sponsor he wants to include his uh, spouse income you are using from you from any other persons who was counted in your household size including in a certain condition the attending immigrant c4 i64 instruction please indicate the name and relation relationship and income baker last name relationship is fatiha and uh, i'm sorry relationship here baker fatiha i'm sorry i made a mistake right here and the relationship is spouse and then the current income is thirty thousand. that's the spouse but if you do this case as i said if you file uh, taxes jointly you must she, this person must file IA64A and if you include her here she must file IA64A as well but if you do not include include her here and you file your taxes separately you go to go just with that I hope I'm clearing this one so we don't have no uh, other uh, persons so we're gonna go back we're gonna go to uh, part six we're still talking about part six sponsors employment and income continued so my current annual household income total all lines from part six item numbers 7 10 13 16 and 19 will, will be automatically added right here so this is that's the income you're going to use to sponsor the, uh, the principal immigrant and the, the and the child and your family so i already show you that that's ninety thousand is more than enough to support these two immigrants uh principal immigrant and a child and your family so 21 uh, now since you are using your spouse the people listed in item number 8 11 14 and 17 have completed form i64a i am filing along with this affidavit all necessary form i64a's completed by these people so the spouse must file i64a that's a contract between the joint sponsor and the, the spouse to agree to support those two immigrants so now let's go to federal income tax return information have you filled a federal income tax return for each of the three most recent tax years in my case is yes you must attach a photocopy or transcript of your federal income tax return for only three most recent tax years this is optional i have attached a photocopy transcript of my federal income tax returns for my second and third most recent tax years you're gonna do this anyway because when you are a joint sponsor you must uh, upload to uh, NVC account that your last uh, three years of your tax return here you're gonna give uh, my total income this is adjusted gross income right here a lot of people get confused right here you must get this adjusted gross income from your IRS chan uh, 40 easy form or chan 40 or tax transcript this is not w 2s total income this is adjusted gross income from your tax return so you will need the most recent year 2023 2022 and 221 and you get this adjusted gross income from your 1040 or 1040 easy or your tax transcript if you did not file tax return for any reason you must check this one right here uh, i have not required to file a federal income tax return as my income was below the irs requirement level and they have attached evidence to support this it is very very important so part seven now use the, of the assets to supplement income this is optional uh, since this uh, joint sponsor has enough money so we're not going to use any assets yeah, but if you do you you can use it you can use your saving or checking account how much money you have your real estate and the cash uh, well, as i said i'm not going to use that so 
uh, yeah, assets for uh, I64A if you want to use it, but we're not going to talk about the assets in this video. So we're going to go uh, to the last part, which is part eight, sponsors, uh, contract, statement, contact information, declaration, certification, and signature. So we're here. So going to go to the bottom right here. Uh, sponsor statement. This is joint sponsor. I can read and understand English, and I have read and understand uh, every question and the instruction on this affidavit and may answer to every question. You check that one. If you use interpreter, you must complete part nine. If you use uh, prepare, you must complete part 10. So sponsor contact information. This is a telephone number for the sponsor. Number four, sponsor's mobile number is 317-1111. This is just a big phone number for learning purposes. And also this is an email address just for learning purposes, sbi.gmail.com. As you know, USAS and NBC uh, communicate mainly email or mail. It's really they will contact you. So we still now one thing I want to mention right here. This is very, very important part of this board. First, date your uh, uh, date of signature, sponsor signature. It is very important. Do not initial it or put your full name right here. It must be signed with a black ink once you print it. So now, Part nine, contact information, uh, interpreters, contact information, certification and signature. If you use one, the most important part of it is signature as well. It must be signed after you print it, not initial, not a full name. And the same thing applies for a prepare. You will need a prepare signature, not initial or uh, full name. And of course, date of signature. Additional uh, part 11, it's additional information. I already have a video, a separate video on how to do that. If you want to watch it, if you want to add something, go to my channel and I have a video on how to do that. It is very simple. Just I don't want to repair it right here. Just, uh, just go to my channel and look for it, how to use additional page. It is very simple. So, uh, as I said, I, you know, it's my responsibility for my subscribers and my viewers. You know to keep them updated once USAS updated this form. This is why I did this video. So this is the end of this video. I hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe, share, hit notification bell. Thank you and see you next video.